One of the most iconic moments to come out of Rogue One is the use of a hammerhead cruiser to take down two Star Destroyers at once. But what happened to the crew on board? Did they stay and go down with the ship, or were they able to escape the explosion? The writers and filmmakers have pointed out that if you look at the ship as it crashes, all the escape pods have been jettisoned, hinting that the crew did in fact survive. But that's not the full story. So today, I'm going to cover the true fate of the crew. The plan was all Admiral Radice's idea. He chose the Hammerhead Lightmaker and its captain, Kato Okwon, to carry it out because his ship had already been badly damaged. The captain was angered by Radice's plan for an instant, but accepted its necessity and resolved to see his mission through. Okwon evacuated all non-essential personnel from the ship, so only the captain, a skeleton crew, and a handful of droids remained. Theoretically, the ship could have been crewed solely by droids, but this particular maneuver was incredibly precise, and although Radis had not demanded that any human crew go down with the ship, they decided their presence was needed to ensure success. As the Lightmaker made contact with the disabled Star Destroyer, Radis saw escape pods launch, but knew they had not come from the Hammerhead. Both Star Destroyers collided and then crashed down into the shield gate, breaking the field. Those that were on the Lightmaker did not survive. Admiral Radis silently thanked them and pledged to name some of his great-grandchildren after Okwon and his crew. Admiral Radis's emotional response to the courage shown by the skeleton crew of the Lightmaker shows how significant the act was to him. The Mon Calamari people were known for their tactical abilities, and part of that is because they're somewhat cold when confronted with death. Radis himself speculated that humans felt death and loss more keenly because they spawned so rarely and so few. Mon Calamari had many offspring, and while they were all loved, it was simply a known and accepted fact that not all of them would survive to adulthood. So as Radis watched the Battle of Scarif unfold, he didn't hesitate to give commands he knew would cost lives if they would result in rebel victory. But even he felt the weight of asking Kato Aquone to give his life with little hope of salvation, and he did not take that order lightly. By the way, my source for all of this information is the Rogue One novelization, which is full of little extra facts and insights like this. If you want to read it, you can get it for free on Audible, and I put a link to it in the description. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone you think might enjoy it, subscribe to the channel to keep up with Star Wars news and lore videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.